in the last lecture we talked about uh, Lyapunov stability and in today's lecture we shall discuss a few more associated uh, definitions that is we shall talk about asymptotic stability exponential stability local and global stability so uh, here is uh, the definition of Lyapunov stability uh, which we uh, discussed in the last lecture that is uh, an equilibrium point of this nonlinear system is stable if uh, this expression is satisfied what is meaning of this expression this expression means that corresponding to each value of epsilon there exists some non-zero value of delta such that trajectories starting within ball of uh, radius delta these uh, trajectories stay within ball of radius epsilon and this is satisfied for all initial conditions and for all values of epsilon what is asymptotic stability so an equilibrium point is asymptotically stable if uh, it is stable that is it satisfies the definition of Lyapunov stability and in addition to that this expression is satisfied that is the trajectories finally converge to the equilibrium point at origin uh, this is uh, graphically demonstrated over here if corresponding to each value of epsilon there exists delta such that trajectories starting from within ball of uh, radius delta these trajectories stay within uh, ball of radius epsilon then it will be stable and if in addition to that these trajectories finally converge to the equilibrium point at origin then uh, this uh, equilibrium point will be asymptotically stable let's uh, demonstrate it with our favorite example of pendulum system if we uh, drop pendulum uh, from here it will oscillate about its equilibrium point at origin and if there is friction this pendulum will finally settle down uh, at, at its equilibrium point which is at origin hence uh, this system is asymptotically stable uh, that is also apparent from the phase portrait of the pendulum system and we see that the trajectories uh, finally converge to the equilibrium point at origin and a set of all initial conditions corresponding to which uh, all trajectories converge to the equilibrium point uh, that set is called region of attraction it is also called region of asymptotic stability or domain of attraction or basin uh, here is the phase portrait of uh, this pendulum system which we uh, discussed earlier multiple equilibrium points are shown over here this is the equilibrium point at origin uh, the equilibrium point in upright position and uh, the equilibrium point at uh, 2 pi 0 which means that this pendulum uh, will settle down after one complete rotation uh, to this point so multiple equilibrium points are uh, shown here in this graph if we uh, talk about the equilibrium point at origin what we see is that for a certain initial conditions uh, trajectories converge to the this equilibrium point uh, for others uh, for example if uh, we talk about this initial condition the trajectories do not converge to this equilibrium point so set of all the initial conditions uh, co corresponding to which trajectories converge to the equilibrium point that set of initial condition is uh, called uh, region of attraction for this particular system here is uh, the uh, set uh, and we see that all trajectories all uh, starting from uh, within this set uh, those trajectories converge to the equilibrium point at origin so this region indicated over here that is the region of attraction for this equilibrium point what is exponential stability an equilibrium point is exponentially stable if the trajectories decay faster than an exponential term where lambda uh, and k are some positive constants any positive constants this is uh, demonstrated over here in this graph here is the uh, trajectory of a system and we see that this trajectory decays faster than this particular exponential term therefore uh, the system uh, corresponding to which this trajectory is plotted uh, that system is exponentially stable uh, for example uh, consider this nonlinear system and uh, we can verify that uh, this is uh, the solution to this nonlinear differential equation and uh, here 
what is uh, this thing inside uh, this brackets this sign is always positive so 1 plus sine square x of tau uh, that will always be uh, greater than 1 and its integral its integral will always be uh, greater than uh, the integral of uh, 1 that is uh, this uh, x of t is always uh, less than uh, this uh, this expression that is uh, trajectories decay faster than uh, an exponential term hence this uh, equilibrium point of this nonlinear system which is at origin is uh, exponentially stable what we additionally see from this graph is that uh, this exponential term decaying exponential term will finally uh, its final value will be zero that is if uh, an equilibrium point of a system is exponentially stable it will be asymptotically stable as well because the trajectories finally converge to the equilibrium point at origin so exponential stability implies asymptotic stability however the opposite is not true it is quite possible that a system is uh, uh, an equilibrium point of a system is asymptotically stable but it is not exponentially st uh, stable here is a counter example we have a nonlinear system and the solution to this nonlinear differential equation is given over here you can easily verify it that uh, this uh, expression satisfies this differential equation by taking the derivative of this expression and substituted substituting it over here so what you can see uh, from this expression is that as t tends to infinity uh, x of t tends to zero that is the equilibrium point of this system is asymptotically stable however this expression decays slower than any exponential function that is we cannot find any positive value of lambda and uh, this k over here such that uh, this uh, expression is satisfied for this particular system hence although this system is asymptotically stable however it is not exponentially stable an additional observation is that for linear systems if uh, a linear system is uh, stable we exclude uh, this uh, marginal stability case so if a linear system is stable then it is always exponentially stable it is uh, asymptotically stable as well as exponentially stable that is apparent from uh, this uh, uh, this expression if we consider a linear system its uh, solution is given by uh, this expression and we can see that also uh, we can find an exponential term such that the states uh, converge faster than uh, th that exponential term hence linear systems if linear systems are stable then these are asymptotically stable as well as exponentially stable what is a global stability and local stability if asymptotic stability holds for any initial state then the equilibrium point is said to be globally asymptotically stable and uh, if uh, it uh, holds only for a certain set of initial conditions then uh, that equilibrium point is called locally uh, asymptotically stable or locally exponentially stable uh, consider for example these two systems here we have a ball rolling on this surface and uh, what uh, we can see is that uh, if there is friction then this ball will uh, finally settle down at its equilibrium point over here hence uh, this uh, equilibrium point is asymptotically stable and furthermore wherever we place uh, this ball on this surface it will finally uh, settle down to this uh, equilibrium point that is asymptotic stability holds for any initial condition hence uh, the equilibrium point for this system is globally asymptotically stable compared to that uh, here we have uh, another system and it has multiple equilibrium points uh, one equilibrium point is here here is another equilibrium point and here is uh, the third equilibrium point and uh, we can see that uh, this uh, equilibrium point and this equilibrium point these are stable uh, this is unstable equilibrium point uh, however uh, this equilibrium point and this equilibrium point these are only locally uh, stable equilibrium points if we uh, drop this ball from you know, for example uh, from this position 
it will finally settle down at uh, this equilibrium point however if uh, we drop this ball from uh, for example uh, some uh, position over here or uh, position over here it will not settle down to this equilibrium point so this equilibrium point is stable only for a certain set of initial conditions hence uh, this uh, equilibrium point as well as this equilibrium point these are only locally asymptotically stable an additional observation is that if a system has uh, multiple equilibrium points then it cannot be globally asymptotically stable because there uh, definitely exist uh, certain initial conditions for which the trajectories will not converge to uh, the equilibrium point uh, under consideration uh, hence uh, global uh, stability is only studied for systems with one equilibrium point a further observation is that uh, for linear systems if linear systems are uh, stable then these are always globally uh, asymptotically stable as well as globally exponentially stable uh, that is apparent from this expression here we have a linear system and a solution to this uh, linear uh, system is given by this expression and we can see that whatever is uh, the initial condition uh, if this term is decaying uh, the uh, trajectories will finally converge to the equilibrium point at origin so uh, for all initial conditions trajectories will converge to the equilibrium point hence this linear system is uh, globally uh, asymptotically stable as well as globally exponentially stable so these were a few uh, additional uh, definitions and uh, in the next lecture we shall uh, study uh, the Lyapunov uh, theorem that helps us to determine uh, stability of equilibrium points uh, for uh, nonlinear systems